Well, I got an email the other day from Will. Now, Will, let me read here so I get it right. He is in the eighth grade over in Poland, Maine. And he has had some questions of white, what insects are killing trees around here and what type of insects they are and what type of trees and what's going on there. So here we go, Will. Um, the emerald ash borer has wiped out, they say, 700 million ash trees in the state of Michigan. Um, in 2002, somewhere in there, they were not sure if it was a cargo ship or an airplane. A lot of people believe it was a cargo ship, carried over some material, and it had the ash borer in it. And that was in down in southern Michigan and has since worked its way up to where we are in central Michigan. Um, by this time, they realized they had a real big problem. We're trying to stop the movement of all the firewood, stop moving wood all over the state because they did not want this thing to go crazy. Um, and it just kept going. And then they stopped it at the bridge, the Mackinac Bridge, before you get into the UP, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. They stopped uh, firewood moving up there and confiscated it, tried to stop it. And it's just crazy the amount of ash borers that are in the UP now. Um, it's all over in the UP now. It just keeps moving its way wherever it can get the ash trees at. And it has just wreaked havoc on the ash trees and it's, it's ruining the lumber and it's, it's bad. I mean, it's killing them all. And the easiest way to tell an ash tree if you're in Michigan, and it's moved all over now, is there's no leaves in the summer. That's the easiest way to see an ash tree. They're usually in low wetter areas is where you'll find the ash growing. There'll be no leaves on them and you can spot them from a mile away once you understand what's going on. So let me take you and show you this ash tree real quick and just exactly what they're doing to it. So this is an ash clump, but we call them a clump of trees behind us. What happens is, is when they grow out of the roots, which is how some trees grow, if you cut a tree down, there's sprouts that'll come up around that old stump. And this is, the old stump would have been right here in the middle, and these are shoots that came up out of that stump. So we call this a clump of, a clump of ash. And if you look, You'll see, see that hole? I hope you can see that hole right there. Um, there's a hole right there. There's holes all over in this tree. And, oh, there's a, some more up there. There is just holes, one right there, used to the old hole. A hole right there. Those holes are where the ash borer went through the bark. And, oh, there's a, one right there. They'd bore into that bark and get in underneath that bark. And this is what happened. See all these little squiggly lines here? I knocked a little bit of bark off to show you. That's all where the ash borer chewed through everything. Okay. And what that does, what it did was eventually starve that tree. Now the nutrients, because you, because you got air gaps... Here's another hole right there. You have these air gaps all over underneath your bark. And this bark's trying to protect this tree from all insects, anything that can get in there and try to kill it. But once it gets back in there, the bark can no longer protect it. And what it did was it just it chewed all over. And it's like that all the way up and down every one of these trees. I mean, look at the hole in that one right there. And... It starved the tree. No nutrients now can get from the ground, can travel upwards into that tree. No nutrients at all. It just completely killed that group of trees. And the ash borer is just a little bug. It's no longer than usually a penny, and it's pretty skinny. And it just goes in all those holes. I just, that one right there is another one. It would, it would bore into that hole, get underneath the bark, and just start traveling up and down 
and it's got two big eyes on it it'll bore in there and just and it has wiped out these ash trees I mean it has obliterated them I mean just gone there's I, I mean I very seldom see a leaf on an ash tree they're just gone and it's it's sad and uh, you know it just it just ruined them so you have a lot of trees like this that are just sitting here dead and now a lot of the uh, landowners and everybody wants them cut now because they're dead and they're useless and the longer they stand on that stump uh, the worse they get um, they'll actually get uh, rot in the middle of them and start working their way up and then they'll fall by the time if they're laying on the ground they're completely junk they can't be used for nothing these might be able salvageable for some logs um, but it's getting to the point where they're actually if they're still standing or once they go over they're completely junk so um, it, it, the ash borer's done a real, real nasty job at uh, wiping these ash trees out. So I got one more stick that I sorted out this morning that came up in the in a bundle, and I can show you real quick on that stick what the ash borer did to that. And they just they go from one tree to the next to the next, and in this area that we're in that we cut in, there is just, man, there is just thousands upon thousands and thousands and thousands of dead ash where they've just been wiped right out. So here's a chunk that I sorted out that I've seen come up and you can see all those swiggly lines through there. And that's where that ash board just went through there and just chewed its way all the way in there and just ruined it just ruined it so um, like I said well that that emerald ash borer has done a big hurting um, on our ash in the state of Michigan there the main use for that ash now is it makes great firewood yeah and it was a light wood to begin with so as far as chips go, um, if you put ash, pure ash in the load, you're going to get 28 tons, let's say. If you were to put pure maple, you're going to get 40 right now. So it's so much lighter than all the other woods because it's dead. It, it was a light wood before, but now it's all dead and dry. Um, so the, a lot of people, it's great firewood, but it is sure sad to see exactly what has happened to the ash trees in the state of Michigan and there is some beautiful ash trees in the swamps down in the low ground and you'll run across some monsters sometime and the bark will be falling just right off them and the ash borer will just just wipe them right out so I hope this helps well with your question and your uh, class project over there in Maine and uh, it's pretty exciting I like when people ask me questions so you keep mowing lawns and working over there in Maine, and uh, I'll keep putting some chips out, hopefully. So have a good day, guys. Talk to you later, Will.